This is Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update for June 7th. The corn market moved higher on Friday as it was driven by decent demand and worries about this year's crop. On the demand front, weekly export sales came in at 20.9 million bushels, leaving us uh, only needing to average 4.2 million bushels per week to hit the USDA's annual export projection. The shift in the 10-day forecast to a drier outlook had nervous traders buying corn futures as they feel that yield projections could be slipping. On the international front, the corn crop in Brazil continues to slip, with Informa on Friday projecting that Brazil's total corn crop would come in at 88 million metric tons. Soybeans were up nearly 35 cents on Friday, driven by demand, tight stocks, and weather worries. The Friday forecast for sharply higher temperatures with minimal amounts of moisture may have been the major contributor to Friday's rally. However, demand for soybean oil to be used in renewable diesel also helped drive us higher. And speaking of vegetable oil, we saw the canola market in Canada move sharply higher on Friday as well as it drew strength from a heat wave moving through the Canadian prairies. The wheat market continues to react to various weather conditions and forecasts throughout the U.S. and the Canadian prairies. On Friday, a forecast for hard red spring wheat country was hotter and drier than had been expected, and that pushed Minneapolis futures up 35 cents per bushel. Winter wheat in Chicago and Kansas City were 11 to 12 cents higher as the southern plains looked to have more favorable drying conditions for the hard red winter wheat crop. On the international front, Russian FOB values were steady to firmer about, by about 50 cents per metric ton on Friday. Well, Ukraine says that its spring wheat crops are now 98% planted. And in France, their soft wheat ratings are unchanged from the previous week at 80% good to excellent. Cotton futures continue to press higher on Friday. At the close, the December futures were up 84 points as they closed at 85.88. Livestock futures were mixed. At the close, we had August live cattle 45 cents lower, while August feeder cattle were down $3, cents at the closing bell. Lean hog futures had a positive session, with July futures finishing $1.69 higher for the day. Class 3 milk futures continue to trade in a very narrow trading range. At the close, we had the July futures up a single point, settling at $17.86. Meat cutout values were mixed to end the week. Choice box beef was $1.57 lower, closing at $3.38.98. Select boxes were down $1.43 as they settled at $3.11.73. Pork carcass cutout values were stronger, finishing $1.77 higher, settling at $133.29 per hundred weight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this. <music> 